and welcome to this wonderful occasion. On behalf of Sofitel Sydney Wentworth, I'd like to welcome you all to this exclusive event. And I would allow, if you will allow me, to you know, just tell you a little bit of history about the Sofitel Sydney Wentworth. It embraces a deep history in Sydney's landmark as it turned 50 years last year, and it's been one of the first luxury hotels in Sydney. It's the largest brick structure in the southern hemisphere at a, at a mere 63 metres tall. I had no idea. Now there's been lots of celebrities, as you can imagine, have stayed at Sofitel Sydney Wentworth and one couple which we will most notably know was Prince Charles and Princess Diana and they danced publicly in front of TV cameras in the ballroom here in the Sofitel Sydney Wentworth and Prince William was only about 10 months old at the time. The hotel has established itself as the city's hotel of arts, partnering with organisations like the Art Gallery of New South Wales, the Australian Chamber Orchestra, Bell Shakespeare and, and, a, and a portfolio of like over 13 different sponsors. But tonight and this afternoon, we're very proud to have partnered again with My Fair Lady this year after a successful sold out season last year. So I'll just tell you a little brief about My Fair Lady. It's celebrating the beloved original Lerner and Lau's My Fair Lady is directed by the musical's very first Eliza Doolittle herself, Dame Julie Andrews. My Fair Lady is an endearing tale that charms audiences with its warmth and vivid characters. It's the clash of cultures and it sparks some of musical theatre's most witty dialogue and jubilant songs, including Wouldn't It Be Lovely, On the Street Where You Live, you can join me on this one, I Could Have Danced All Night, <laughs> and Get Me to the Church on Time. So it's now playing at the Capitol Theatre and you'll all be joining the cast later this evening to see this wonderful production and I will spare no more time but to introduce you to our wonderful cast. We have the beautiful Octavia Baron Martin. That's the beautiful <laughs> We have in the, in the centre we have Joel Parnas who plays Freddie. And we have the lovely Eli Eliza Collar. Eliza Collar. So I've got some questions that we want to ask, and you've all answered, um, asked some wonderful questions. So I've got these questions here. Okay, so these questions have been put together by the members here this evening, the wonderful audience. Do you sing the songs in your sleep? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I, you never really get them out of your head. You, you drive home and you're singing in, them in the car. I think the last thing we all do as a cast is I could have uh, get me to the church on time. That's the number that sticks in our head and I'm sure it's gonna stick in your head tonight. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, what is it like to work with Julie Andrews? Uh, well, I'll, I'll speak for all of us here and just say it was a dream come true. The best thing, and I'm sure all of you have in your heads a vision of what maybe Julie might be like in person based on the characters she plays and the energy she exudes in those roles and I can tell you without any hesitation she lives up and exceeds those expectations. She, the first thing we did when we all met was we sat around a big round table and we went around and introduced ourselves. You know, I'm Joel, I'm in the ensemble. I'm Octavia, I'm in the ensemble. And we got to Julie right at the end and she said, and I'm mum. And that was how she went throughout the rest of the rehearsal period. She was like a mother to us. She was so kind and generous and just the most heartfelt, wonderful human being. It was very special. Yeah. I can imagine. That's beautiful. Yeah, big round of applause for that. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Now, this one's directed from an audience person here asking Elisa, did you have a background in acting 
and dancing for dancing before musical theatre. So did, were you doing, what were you doing before musical theatre? While I was at school actually I was, a, I was huge in sport um, until I was about 15, 16 um, and then I, I think my auntie said to me, oh you let's do some singing lessons, I think you can, I think you've got a beautiful voice. So I didn't really start dancing and singing until I was about 15, 16 years old. Um, and then I went to the Australian Institute of Music and studied there. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I don't know, if, it's funny, you, you're in a cast of people who start when they're three years old. Some people haven't started till they're about 26. Um, but I think I always had the passion. My grandmother was a beautiful classical singer and actress in her time. And so I think that gene was absolutely passed down onto me. Um, but I didn't notice it, I guess, until I was a little older. So this is another, that's lovely, thank you. This is another good question. Do you feel every minute of the three and a half hours on stage. Yes. <laughs> Why did I think you were going to say that? <laughs> Every single second. Um, <laughs> I'm on stage or off stage? I think there was. Um, I look when you're on stage. It's it's um, magical. You just get absolutely swept up in it, and it's a joy. And not all shows are like that. Um, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's an absolute joy. When you're in the bathroom, not so much. Um, you wouldn't want to, really. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it definitely stays with you. And it's, um, it's beautiful. And it, it follows you off stage, which is wonderful. Fantastic. And how long does it take to be stage ready and you know with the full makeup yeah, and costumes and, <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Well, you can't see it today, but I have a lot of hair. It goes down to below my waist and it's very thick. And um, us women in the show have to wear wigs. Uh, so we have to pin curl our hair, which for me takes about half an hour. Um, and then some of us can do it in five minutes. Uh, and then we do our makeup, which takes a while as well. So there's a lot of preparation um, before we get on stage, and that's costumes and mics, sound check, warm up. Uh, we're all at the at the theatre an hour before the show, but a lot of us get there an hour before the hour. So <laughs> I do. Um, yes, there's a lot of preparation um, before you get to the stage. Yeah. And how difficult is it to get a position in a show today? Like that is a very hard question yeah, to sure. answer, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. It's tricky. I won't, I won't lie. I won't sugarcoat it. Um, it's a one nowadays in Australia. There's a lot of institutions training up young performers, and there's no more jobs than to accommodate for that. So it is a tricky one. Now you have to really suit something to even be put forward for something and when I first graduated you could kind of get an audition for anything whereas now it's not possible sometimes you you really want to audition for something and you'll get a response back saying no no we don't we don't think you're suitable so you don't even get to get into the room to show them that maybe you could be so it is tricky I have to say anything else do you have anything else to add to that yeah it's tricky yeah so it's like a bit of being in the right spot at the right time too. Yep. Yeah, it's, and it's not, these days, it's not what you know and who you know. It's, you've just got to be really good. And you've got to be that triple threat, don't you? So yeah. you've got to be able to sing, dance, act, everything. Yeah, it's just about fitting the show that comes along and knowing where you fit in the industry itself, I would say. Knowing where your strengths are. I know myself, I don't put myself forward if it's a show like Cats, for instance, that requires dancing and legs and all that. I know where I fit, so that's one where I wouldn't submit myself, for instance. So it's about being really realistic with yourself and your skill set, but then also making sure you are on top of all your skills to the best of your ability, so that when you do get in that room, you can represent yourself to your full potential. So, for those of you who may not know, so, okay, so Joel Parnasy plays Freddie and he's taken over the role from Mark Vincent, so and he's doing an exceptional role. He was the I was, understudy. I was the understudy before, so, So yes. there you go. Yeah. And, um, and Elisa um, also played Eliza Doolittle for four weeks as well. And was amazing. <laughs> 
So it's good to know that, you know, when you're there, opportunities do prevail itself and you've got to grab those opportunities. I will add to that, in this particular show, we have been so lucky with our producers that they've been willing to give us these opportunities. That is this fantastic. has been a very special show in that way. They they love working with who they have. They don't necessarily go outside and go, oh, we've got a gap to fill. Let's find out who wants to audition. They gave it to people in-house first, people who'd been there from day one, and it's very special. So we're really grateful to have been working with such lovely that's, producers. That's fantastic. Now, you, the audience, have got the best seat in the house. And we were having a bit of a chat before this, and I've done a little bit of stage and movies myself. <laughs> but let me tell you, I'm going to throw the microphone to them again because we need for you to tell us and to tell this audience here how lucky we are when we're in the audience because the actors make it look so easy. So not only do they have to know their role, but they've got to know what everyone else on stage is doing and the mayhem that's going on behind the scenes. So play... Oh! Hello! <laughs> at how good I was. Please allow me to introduce the man himself, Mr. Tony Llewellyn Jones, who plays Colonel Pickering. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm so lovely you were able to join. You look fantastic. So do you. <laughs> Could you say that on the microphone? So do you. <laughs> Okay, so we were just saying how the audience has the best seat in the house <laughs> and um, I'd love for you all to tell us just the mayhem that goes on behind the scenes, what actually happens when you get to the stage and how we, th we thrive off the audience reaction. So when you're enjoying this tonight, you're going to appreciate just how much work goes on and you are going to really clap and get right into it because they thrive off that on stage. It's the audience reaction that really gets the energy going. Yeah. So who would like to tell us Can that? Sure. Well, it's not us, folks. It's the orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> Just you wait until you hear them playing. It, you, it lifts you, you fly, and you, you want to dance all night. Uh. And uh, no, we, we don't want to give away too many secrets, but... Um, <laughs> We sweat, we shake, we worry, we're nervous, we think we know what we're doing, but as soon as we get the, as soon as the light hits you, everything changes and, and we can't wait to do it for you tonight. No secrets. Love it. So, now, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your character? Well... We don't want to give anything away. No, I don't want to give anything away. Um, he comes, he claims, or George Bernard Shaw and Alan J. Lerner want you to believe that he's just got off a boat and he's come from India. <laughs> However, what we never hear him say is anything in any kind of Indian dialect, and I wish I could. I'm trying to work out a way to sneak it in before we close in a week. <laughs> but he speaks a kind of English. And, um, well, you wait and see. I'll wave. I know where you're all sitting. I know exactly where you're all sitting. And uh, I promise to wave. <laughs> so, I just want to thank you all so, so much. And I know all of you are just going to have the most amazing time. But isn't this an exceptional experience, I'm sure. It's just been wonderful. And they do have a call time that they have to get. Now, we could keep you here forever. But we need you to get back and get ready for this amazing performance. And we thank you so, so much. On behalf of Sofitel Sydney Wentworth and all the audience here, and you'll all be cheering tonight. You'll be up in your seats. Really, really live it up and enjoy every moment. And thank you so, so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone and I hope you've had a wonderful afternoon and I hope you all enjoyed you know meeting and greeting and having photos and questions with the Q&A for um, the My Fair Lady but just to let you know this wonderful hotel in its stunning ballroom 
is going to have the original temptations. Do we all remember the temptations? So the original temptations will be in the grand ballroom with those magnificent chandeliers. You just, it's exquisite. Uh, they'll be on here. It's a cabaret dinner and show here at Sofitel Sydney Wentworth in the grand ballroom from the 6th to the 9th of December this year. So that is definitely something that you, you know, can't be missed. And also just to let you know, you've all had these wonderful photos. So if you want to know where you can see your photos and you can share them on all your social media, they will be out early this coming week, but you have to go on Facebook and you have to go on, you have to like Sofitel Sydney. So if you go to Sofitel Sydney, they will be on, I'd say, beginning to middle of the week. And share, share, share. And you can tag me, Jeanette LaKiss. <laughs> so, yeah, so please feel free, share them as much as you like, and let everyone know what a wonderful time you've had. And can I just say, you've all been absolutely delightful. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.